What is up everyone, Arsolvi here, and today we are back with another Tom Clancy's The Division video. We are going to be talking about a medic slash support build that I made and used in the game. Now this might not be really appropriate for your game style, but I hope it is. Make sure to drop a like if you enjoyed the video, and why not subscribe if you're new around here for more Tom Clancy's The Division videos. Tell me if you guys would like more builds for different classes and skills. So without any further ado, let's just jump straight into it. Alright, so the first ability I would recommend you guys to use is the Pulse Scan. Now this is a very easy ability to get, like by the very beginning you should already have it, but I would put the mod that is called Tactical Scanning on it. Now this actually increases your damage, as you can see in the background, I'm dealing about 1047 damage to these enemies, and once I activate my Pulse Scan, I would do around 1000 500 to almost 2000 which is like the same gun with the same enemies so it is an overall really really good weapon uh, in which you can use in various situations to you know scan the area around you know where your enemies are mark them and do more damage but the main thing you should be using here is a support station the support station is an actual sort of crate that you can drop on the ground or throw which heals you and your allies in a wide area as an upgrade, I would much likely recommend you to use a life support mod, which can actually revive you and your down allies. Now, you could normally get revived by your support station, but it would cause it to instantly explode afterwards. So with this mod, you can still use your support station, even if it revives multiple allies. As of the talent, I would much likely recommend you to pick Triage, which gives a boost to the cooldown of your skills each time you heal an ally. Now since your support station can heal multiple allies at a time, you will be able to get your skills back way quicker. Now the second talent you could go for is Battle Buddy. This one actually protects you and your teammates by 50% from incoming damage for 10 seconds. Now this can come very handy in bad situations, where you and your teammates are both at a critical health and you need to get him or her back to the battlefield. I will probably make an ultimate guide for a level 30 medical uh, slash support uh, maybe you know later on the video because you need to consider that this is an average build for an average player like me, let's say from level 18 to 23. So as you can see, I don't actually own four uh, talent slots. So you could maybe go if you have four or more than two. You could go for a sort of support of uh, a talent that would may pretty much help you out in Battlefield. Talking about support, you can also go for a medic slash support combo here and take the smart cover ability with the recharger mod. Now the smart cover actually grants you and your teammates more damage dealing, less damage taken, as long as you stay in cover. It is an absolute great combo with the support station since you can heal yourself and attack while taking less damage. It is an overall really great combo to deal some major team damage to a boss. Now if you don't like staying in cover and would rather stay mobile, then you might want to go with the first aid ability. With pretty much any mod, depending on your playstyle, it is an overall fast healing that can truly become a game changer in the dark zone. You can also go for the recovery link, which is a really really re good uh, sort of super ability that actually can heal pretty much all your team, revive them if they're down in pretty much any range or like a really wide area. So it's a really useful skill depending on what circumstances you are in, but it can truly be a lifesaver even if let's say your whole teammates are down and you cannot uh, reach them so you just use that skill and boom you revive them all. As of your stats, you want to have as much as health as possible and skill power. Unless then again, you would be more of a rushing type, but it would make a lot of sense for you to be a medic. Keep in mind the big numbers on top are not truly what matters, but it is actually the small ones under, like electronic and stamina, for example. So that was it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a like if you did. Uh, subscribe if you're new around here for more Tom Clancy's The Division videos. Tell me what you think about this uh, concept of making builds for you guys. I could do a lot of them. I have great ideas about it. Tell me what you think about it. And that was pretty much it. Arso, signing out.